Spiky bits. Hey guys, MBG here, and we're going to take a look at the new Chaos Demon models for uh, March 2013. Uh, first up, we have the uh, Herald of Zinch on Burning Chariot, which uh, also makes the uh, just the plain Burning Chariot uh, kit as well. So let's take a look at this one. Just come on. Take a look at some of the uh, the artwork there. I think it's pretty cool how they did the uh, those two heralds there. Um, some of you might remember there was a similar uh, ob model back in the day in Rogue Trader era that was uh, very similar to this. So I kind of like how they uh, paid it, paid uh, homage there to that. And uh, there's just a uh, kind of the bird uh, bird beak kind of guy and giant flamer man. Very interesting stuff here on these uh, on these models. You can tell <clears throat> with the advent of the uh, computer design and stuff that uh, they <laughs> they can almost do anything at this point. Um, so the box set comes, of course, with the uh, uh, 120 uh, oval as well as the chariot base. It just depends on which game system you're running it on, and square and uh, round bases for again for you can run it for fantasy or 40k. Uh, let's take a look at the instruction book here. Uh, just normal basic uh, instruction book, multi uh, multi kit kind of kind of thing here. Just kind of tells you basically how to put it together. I haven't put one of these together yet, so I can't tell you if uh, the instructions are right or wrong. But judging by the amount of pieces, you're definitely going to have to use the uh, the instructions. So uh, let's take a look at the first sprue here. Now this uh, it's pretty uh, pretty cool looking stuff here. You've got the front to the screamers. Uh, top of the disc and then a couple different disc toppers you know kind of depending on what you want to do there um, this is the book uh, that the Herald can hold or read from and then you got a couple of different uh, different uh, disc uh, uh, zinch disc uh, I guess uh, talon kind of things very traditional looking and then you've got the uh, the tentacles and things um, I don't know, just mystic parts basically that come up out of the ground to support the whole uh, the whole assembly itself. Second sprue is uh, looks like we got the ginormous flamers, <laughs> and then just a couple different parts to the different horrors and things like that. And there's the uh, looks like the book that the uh, herald can hold as well. A couple different options there. There's some of your uh, kind of bird head pink horror things. So pretty pretty cool looking stuff so far, and there's the uh, there's the flame, so you can uh, you can support the uh, the kit two different ways there, just depending on what you want to do. Uh, and then we get to the last sprue, which is basically a lot of the arms that go to the flamer. Um, if you do just a burning chariot itself, and then you've got the uh, the screamer manta ray kind of bodies. There's that cool head, the moon head uh, for the herald, and just come a couple different. Uh, Parts and things for the screamers themselves. Here's the uh, Herald body as well. So, eh, overall, pretty pretty cool, pretty cool looking stuff for the demons. You could obviously make a couple different things with this kit. Um, uh, you know, you could do you get a, two heralds basically in here. You get some pink horrors. Or, or, um, so there's a couple different things you could do. Uh, it's definitely a multiple use kind of kit. And you can tell there you can definitely use that as a as a disc and then you'd have a couple extra um, screamers if you wanted or you could use it as a chariot whichever I think the uh, utilitarian uh, nature of these uh, these chariot kits are pretty cool but then again it, and it gives us another incentive to, to buy them as well okay so here's the uh, plague drone kit it comes with three of these guys very similar to how they do the blood crushers and the Thunderwolf Cavalry for Space Wolf. So, a um, couple different base options. This is the base we've all come to know and love since uh, the Demigriff Knights kind of came out. And then a traditional flying stands for uh, for 40k there. You know, I think when these guys first came out, a lot of people were hating on them. But now, as we're seeing more and more pictures of them, I'm I'm really digging them. I mean, I think I think the bunch of different ways you can pose them and make them really look cool. And they're uh, what jetpack cavalry in the game of 40k. So that's uh, that's a very interesting move. Um, here's the instruction manual. Kind of just looks like just basically folded in half uh, with a couple staples there. So they're getting a little a little thicker in nature. So uh, I haven't put this one together yet either, but I plan on doing so tonight. So I will follow up with any uh, faux pas I I find or any uh, red herrings in the instruction manual. 
if we find them. So it looks like from each sprue, and I'm just going to lay these out here real quick, that uh, you get basically three complete uh, drones. Oops, three complete drones uh, per sprue. Um, now it doesn't look like they're all identical, but you know it's very interesting to see that they did that all self-contained within each one. So we'll just take a look at all three real quick because they're basically all the same with a couple different options. So there's there's the the basic body of the drone. Um, it's got a hollow interior, so kind of easily customizable depending on what you're looking to do. A couple of small small wings, big wings. These would obviously work good on a uh, if you're trying to convert up maybe a Nurgle Demon Prince or something like that. These would be pretty cool. Um, then you've got the rider bodies. There you go. Get a better look at that. And they go together very similar to the Plague Bearers, um, the new plastic kit where you put the uh, the torso kind of locks into the front there. Um, then you've got the kind of little tail tentacle mouth thing. <laughs> uh, obviously, uh, somebody might have seen too much hentai there. But uh, they come out in the bottom of the, uh, the Plague Drones if you so desire, so which I think is kind of funny and disturbing both at the same time. Uh, there's the um, kind of face uh, stock, I guess would be a good term for it, and a couple different alternate versions that looks like more of like a bug head. Then you've got the, the stock, which reminds me of uh, Max Rebo, that, that blue alien in uh, Return of the Jedi at Jabba's Palace. Kind of funny. I wonder if anybody's going to paint one of these up blue. Um, then just a bunch of different, this looks like the, uh, the instrument bearer for the, uh, for the squad there. Nurgle always seems to have a bell to ring. Uh, here's the second sprue. Uh, definitely has uh, pretty much the same. This looks to be the standard bear. And some basically the same wings. Uh, a little bit for the standard. A couple different heads again. And some claws. I'm not really sure what the ins insectoid term is for those things, but we'll just call them claws. And so that's a pretty cool looking, pretty cool looking sprue. I mean, if you're, I suppose you could make some sort of uh, the uh, Blightrum model from Forge World out of these things if you weren't looking to spend uh, what 40, 50 bucks for each one of those. I guess this guy's going to be the champion because he's got the uh, the bigger sword and uh, more distinctive head there, but more of the same just from from the kit there. So. It doesn't come with uh, any little uh, nerglings or anything like that um, that some of the other kits come with, just kind of bouncing around doing jovial things. But overall, I still think it's a very, very neat, groundbreaking kit um, that I can't wait to go home and build, actually. Uh, next up, the Blood Throne of Corn. Now, this is <laughs> this kind of looks like something out of the uh, Ratfink uh, um, toy line from the uh, early 90s, I thought, as soon as I saw it, when I saw this kind of thing right here. And... Um, I don't know, I was looking through this earlier, and it's, uh, I also spilled my soda on it, and, uh, <laughs> that was interesting, and so, once you get into here, there's a better look at the, uh, kind of the rat fink kind of looking thing, and I suppose you could use this as, uh, Aegis, uh, you know, as a cannon or something, if you really wanted to for demons, I suppose you could take that, do a conversion like that, but this thing's, uh, very interesting, uh, it doesn't really get its styling from anything, I mean, back's kind of like a uh, blood crusher a little bit, but we've never really seen anything like this before, so I'm uh, I'm, I'm very interested in this, this design. I'm actually doing a, doing a fallen themed uh, Dark Angel army that will obviously be chaos model, so I've been looking for something for the uh, uh, Dark Shroud, so I might actually use that and uh, kind of flush it uh, flush it out a little bit. But anyway, so here's, uh, here's the first sprue. Let me get these out of the way so we don't Use our focus here. There we go. All right. So first sprue is the basic uh, basic body and shape chassis, I guess, of the uh, um, cannon uh, itself. Well, no, I guess that's not the cannon. It's just a basic. This is just going to basically be the uh, the basic chassis of the uh, the throne itself. Um, you got lots of different wheel options here, and there's kind of the uh, the exhaust or whatever these things are supposed to be on the back. I'm not really sure what that particular styling is supposed to be um somewhere I think on the front of oh, this goes underneath this this piece kind of mounts here I believe to give a uh, give it some jaws kind of like the jaw look and I don't see the other piece I was looking for there's a piece that the uh, the blood letters actually stand on um, 
in the front. Let's see. Oh, there it is right there. So there's the uh, the corn bit where the uh, the blood letters actually stand on it. Uh, there's the cannon itself. Now, if you're looking for, you know, something inspired by the uh, the old armor cast uh, cannon of corn, obviously this isn't it. This isn't even close to that model. But that being said, it's still it's still pretty stylish. I mean, if you look in there, you see a lot of a lot of doodads and a lot of detail up in there. Um, then you just got a bunch of basic like armor plates and things to flesh it out. A couple of uh, neat little skulls. Be kind of cool to see a uh, blood champion or something with that. Uh, I believe this is the throne, part of the throne there. So some pretty neat stuff overall on that screw. Uh, here's the top of the uh, the chassis there, and man, look at that. That blood letter sword, that that guy's definitely in charge. He's definitely the herald. Um, that uh, that is also rather a large head for the uh, for the herald himself. So a lot of the uh, this is basically the uh, the blood letter kit. So you can kind of tell the difference between the uh, the swords there. Very distinct uh, distinct size difference. So other than basic that piece right there, these are pretty much all the crew uh, they can go on the the model here. So uh, again, it's one of those kind of utilitarian. Um, kits where you could basically you know make a couple different things out of it and have a couple guys left over I personally like the uh, the fine cast uh, Herald of uh, the blood letter Herald of corn I guess that model looks really really good and I can't wait to get my hands on that uh, last up is for general release I guess is the uh, the Herald of Nurgle which is just basically a clan pack um, for both uh, both systems and we'll just kind of take a quick look at that. It's got the nice little um, textured uh, textured base. You know, it's not really the multi-part that we're used to. It's kind of just cut up with the computer with CAD, just to kind of fit it on the sprue. It looks like the head separate there. Um, you may not have to put that uh, alien-esque kind of chestburster uh, mouth tongue thing on it. I guess if you don't want to, but you could. So, and you know, it's just a one-piece little. $20 kit, I'm sure. But he's pretty cool looking. He's way better than the uh, the normal Plague Bears. So that's it for the new kits for uh, the Chaos Demons, uh, basically. There's already a lot out there of, I guess this is technically Wave 3 of Chaos. Uh, so there's there's a lot out there. They've pretty much covered a lot. Obviously the rumored uh, Greater Demons coming out later in the summer, uh, which I can't wait to see because their stat lines are pretty ridiculous. So that's all I got for this video. I'm MBG Rob Bear. Thanks for watching my... Uh, video unboxing of the new Chaos Demons for March 2013. Spiky Bits!